From the vault. From the vault. Doing these on the overhead this week. Huh? All right. We're doing these on the overhead this yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, we didn't do what, videos. What new... Uh... Yeah, these are hot. These just came in. Spicy. Okay. What top First up, uh, you got? Um, I finally got these USB plug breakouts, which is great because people are always like, hey, can you make those trinkies but USB-C? And the answer is like, well, no, not until I find like a good solid USB-C plug. So this is, I mean... It's like held on with these two tabs, but like it seems to be okay. There's a little bit of a clearance. Maybe I could, I don't know, but not really. Um, all the pads are connected over here. And you've got uh, data minus data plus CC power and ground. So um, a little, a tiny USB-C plug. So you can plug this into your computer. And then for now, it's just for my experimentation, but eventually I want to make it into like a Trinky so the Trinky can plug in directly into your USB-C port. Um, next up, speaking of one wire, one thing that was always comes up with people is they're like, oh, I want to use one wire on a circuit Python board, but or an Arduino board that doesn't have one wire support for some reason. Um, or, you know, a single board computer and it doesn't necessarily have one wire sort of, uh, compiled into the kernel. So this is a DS2484, this is a recommendation somebody emailed. I actually had a, a previous version of this chip on my to-do list, but they emailed and said, oh, there's another another version. And so I was like, oh, great, the the 4, which has some ESD protection. Um, it's I squared C, but can run one wire, so it would be able to connect to DS18 B20s. Basically, that's what people use one wire for. Um, very small little chip from um, Maxim, no analog, but... Uh, uh, kind of excited about this because I think that could be good for, especially I'd like to have Circuit Python support because I think then with Blinka, you know, if you have a Raspberry Pi or something and you want to connect to one wire sensors or devices, you will have a uh, I squared C to one wire converter for that. Um, and it's interesting, the data sheet's very simple. It doesn't the data sheet's very minimal. There's not a lot of stuff you do with one wire. Uh, most of it's on a higher level. And then I uh, also had a request for like. People who wanted to connect a NeoPixel or sew a NeoPixel, they wanted like something like the floor in NeoPixel, but um, with like holes to mount it and um, with connectors. So these are JST SH connectors. So instead of ha you know, soldering, you could be, you just plug in these wires. It's not going to be inexpensive. You know, it's nothing's going to be as cheap as just putting a NeoPixel on and some pads and like saying good luck. But I could see some model makers or some fashion or you know wearable applications where you really want to be able to unplug the NeoPixel, um, but keep the wiring attached or you want to swap out. So I think there could be some application for it and then use M2 screws to uh, to mount it onto something. Anyways, those are my Nissan outfits. All right, and that is top secret.